Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rise to your feet. It's time to make some noise because, ladies and gentlemen, only the best go three abreast. And you have it tonight at Gallatin Speedway with the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. It's time to find out who's going to go bear hunting here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy 25 trips around the Gallatin Speedway because, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you've saved your lunch money for as your field makes a way up to turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime at the Grizzly Nationals. Your field racing off into turns one and two. It will be a drag race to the back straightaway for the top spot. Hafer Teep has it. Kelly Miller wants to take it away. Hayfertief slides across the racetrack. Kelly Miller turns it down, tries to go to his inside. Can't get it done. Hayfertief's going to lead on lap number one. Sam Hayfertief Jr. leads the opening lap. Kelly Miller running in second. Matt Covington running in third. John Carney the second running in fourth. Scott Boguski running in fifth. Under pressure for the 17W. Harley White. Harley White hard right into the side of Scott Boguski in the 28 with a wild flip over the wall. Red lights will come on. Again, Sam Hayfertief on the point. Kelly Miller in second, Matt Covington in third, John Carney the second and fourth, Harley White in fifth, Blake Hahn in sixth. As we go back to green, Sam Haverteep Jr. goes to the cushion and turns one and two. Kelly Miller tried the middle, wasn't able to make anything of it. Now as Matt Covington's going to look to his inside for a moment, Carney's going to try to look inside of both of them. Not able to get the run as they work to the front straightway as the high side flies and turns one and two right now. Kelly Miller holds off Matt Covington. Covington holds off John Carney. Miller still running in second. Covington in third. Slips it over the cushion a little bit. Carney's going to try to close, but not able to make anything happen. Has the battle for six. Blake on back around the zero J as Jeremy McCune. McCune fights back to his inside and retakes the position, though. As they work to the back straightway, it is McCune in zero. Diving down to the bottom of the racetrack. Hahn's going to go to the cushion. McCune slides it across to the front straightway. Blocks the charge of Hahn for a moment. As Hahn short slides the zero J into turns one and two. Grabs the position as they bolt to the back straightway. Meanwhile, battle for the second spot. Matt Covington going after Kelly Miller. Comes up short, though, as they work through turns three and four. Now dives to the bottom and turns one and two and takes it away. Kelly Miller back to third. Carney chasing those two drivers in the fourth spot. Harley White continuing to run at your top five. Has right now nobody able to keep pace with Sam Hafer, Team Jr. In slower traffic, his advantage, a staggering 4.473 seconds as he'll see the white flag fly. One more trip around the Gallatin Speedway here on night number one of the Grizzly Nationals. He will work to the back straightaway for the final time in slower traffic into turn three. At a turn number four, he'll finally make it to victory lane at Gallatin. Sam Haverteep Jr. with the win. Sam Haverteep Jr. with an absolutely dominating performance here tonight at the Gallatin Speedway. Second will go to the 95. No, the two junior, Kelly Miller, steals it at the line from Matt Covington. Covington. With a right rear flat coming off a of turn number four, settles with third. John Carney, the second and fourth. Harley White in fifth. Jeremy McCune in sixth. Blake Conn, Trevor Kirkland, Roger Crockett, and Tony Bruce Jr. unofficially run at your top ten. But there All right, Kelly Miller does come home second. Matt Covington third. John Carney fourth. And Harley White rounds out the top five here. There you go. Big Sam. The man. Sam Ladies and gentlemen, right? how about it for Sam Haverteep Jr. and Adam the Grizzly Bear? I don't think Sam's wanting to get too close to Adam the Grizzly Bear. 